All right, this right here is an Avanix Conquest uh, battery-powered semi-auto. And so uh, this has actually become jammed. You see right here, uh, the bolt is stuck forward and I can't get the magazine out. So I'm going to show you real quick how to unjam your semi-auto Avanix rifle. So if you own one of these Avanix rifles, uh, you really need to be able to unjam it yourself. The first thing you want to do when your rifle jams is charge your battery up. So here I got a charged battery. We're going to put it in there and pull the trigger once and see if that doesn't fix it. Alright, I changed the battery now. I'm going to pull the trigger one time see if it comes unjammed. Okay, we still we got nothing here. So uh, we know that the battery is not the problem. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a, take a couple bolts out. We're going to take this bolt, this bolt. I think there's a bolt right here and then a bolt right here and then we're gonna snap this apart a teeny bit and you're gonna see this bolt click right back and then your the rifle's gonna be ready to rock and roll again so first I gotta take the scope off so then I need a two millimeter uh, hex head allen wrench so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen all these okay so this one I actually did have to <clears throat> take the stock off and slide it down a little bit to get to this last screw right here which is partially covered by the stock so I went ahead and loosened the stock with a four millimeter screw and uh, just gently slid that down okay so I, I think I got all the screws apart and I'm just gonna gently pop this apart right here just about one millimeter you don't want to take these two pieces apart completely because then uh, the insides of the gun will pop out and you won't be able to get them back together so Let's see here. If I indeed got all the screws I need to take out, it should just pop right apart. Alright, looks like I missed one, so. Yes, that was a problem. Uh, I missed a couple screws right here, so this is going to be the last screw right here. And so you want to be careful. Kind of keep your hand on this when you get the last screw out. Because you don't want it to fly apart, so. Now, just gently. Yeah, it's coming apart. So, now I don't want to screw anything up, but I'm going to... It's really thin in here. And you're going to see this bolt's going to pop back. There it goes. There it is, you heard that? Now the bolt is in the back position. And you can see, I can slide my mag in and out. But there is one issue. Sometimes the wheel might be like a half crank through the rotation. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger one time. see that it's stopping at the same place again so there we go okay now I believe I uh, got it at the right place now I can slide my magazine out and looks like we're rotating perfectly now so now I just gotta bolt this back together and we're set so I wanted to actually give an update as to what actually made this gun jam because these are actually really reliable. Um, I actually took a 25 caliber magazine and I thought I was shooting my 25 caliber Conquest but when I looked closely I realized that it was a 177 caliber and so anyway I tried to put a 25 caliber magazine I tried to put that in the wrong gun so that's why it jammed. So If you oil these guns make sure you have a full battery load the magazine correctly uh, the pellets correctly and keep them oiled they're never gonna jam so unless you do something stupid like that